Hey guys, this is Danielle with WTI here, and I am here to share with you um, my new Osmo um, little station I got for my kids. So I'm gonna show you the station real fast, and then I will give you a little show of the um, apps. So you put it in this little guy right here, and this is kind of like a reflection mirror. So as you do play on Osmo, the kids do their app, it's reading what they're writing. So that's what this whole contraption's about. Um, so I do want to say that if you have young kids, um, this is not supposed to be in a case when you use it. So please be careful with your precious iPad, um, number one. But I really like these apps. Um, my kids actually are interested in doing them. So what I appreciate is they have some learning apps and they have fun learning apps. So they do math and English and then they do art. Um, they do other creative things, so that's really cool. I'm gonna show you over here a couple of videos um, of my kids doing the work so you can kind of get an idea of what the apps look like. Okay, so this game is trying to add numbers together to equal one of the bubbles. So you have these tiles and you add them to, I use a white piece of paper, and it's going to add the tiles like that and add an addition problem. So one plus two equals three. So how many more would you need to equal six, Aria? Four more, uh oh, you equal seven. So you have to take the four away and you're gonna add? Three. You're gonna add three. And then once it comes up with the answer, it pops the bubble. So that's how this math game works, and it goes according to age, so it eventually does multiplications, etc. One is a puzzle, so you have these little pieces, and you put them on um, the screen. And it will tell you, see how it recognizes those are on there? So when you add a piece, it will recognize it on the screen and you can eventually go from there. See, like that doesn't work. It's not recognizing it. So my daughter would have to move it around. Let's see until it works. Does that work? No. Does that work? Yay. So it comes up with different puzzles like that. So I know those videos were long, but I think that they were a really great idea of what your kid's gonna be doing. Um, so this little set is one for making puzzles. This is the set for um, the tiles for the alphabet when your kids are creating words. And then this little set is for the numbers. I like these boxes. I like how they are labeled, because I'm all about labeling things. And I like how they are stackable. So nice and neat, and you don't have to have a big bulky box or anything like that to keep your pieces together. Just as simple as that. So I highly recommend this system and that is my point of view.